Please subscribe math.com for any query, comment or email. In today's lecture, we will see how you can approximate values if you are given with certain terminating or non-terminating decimal numbers. We will start from the example and apply the process or the rule over that. If you are given with the decimal number like 3.22567, step 1 is you have to check that how uh, check the number of digits you want after decimal point. Do you want these two digits or these three digits or up to four digits? We will start from the two digits. If you want the two digits after decimal point, then how you can approximate its value? For that purpose, you have to see the digit after those two digits. That it means this digit. This, you have to see whether this digit is greater than 5 or equal to 5 or less than 5. If it is, let's see the cases. In case, if it is greater than 5, then how you will approximate it? If the digit after the uh, digits that you want to keep uh, is greater than 5, you will add 1 to the digit before it. Like, we can write it as 3.5. 2, 2, 5, 6, 7. This will add plus 1 to this digit and you will get the answer as 3.23. This is the approximate value of this number. This is uh, this, terminating, uh, rash, uh, this terminating decimal number or you may have certain non-terminating decimal number. This was the case 1. We will see the case 2. By taking another example, if you are given with 2.3427, how you will ap approximate its value? Let's see. As I want to keep these two digits after decimal, then the digit that, that is that needs to consider here for approximating value is this 2, the digit after those digits that we want to keep. Now, this digit depends, uh, this case depends whether this digit is greater than 5, equals to 5 or less than 5. Now in case 2, this digit is less than 5. What you will do, as it is less than 5, you will not add anything in it. It will come as it is in the approximate value. And we will drop those extra digits, like 2.34. This is the approximate value of 2.3427 digits that is we want to keep is less than 5 so we just drop them out and we will write the, the number as it is so 2.34 is the approximate value we have discussed the two cases for case 3 we have 2.3427 now in case 3 I want to keep these digits it means the digit after decimal is are these three digits that I want to keep and I want to drop the 7. So before dropping the 7, I have to check whether the digit at this place is greater than 5, equal to 5 or less than 5. The digit is greater than 5. So this is the case here. When the digit is greater than 5, you will add 1 into the digit before it. Okay. So it will be changed as 2.343. Now, this is the approximate value of 2.3427. So, we have seen the three cases in which we have discussed how you can approximate the different values. Let's summarize it. As we have seen three cases, case 1, 3.2256. Okay. Case 2 is 4.7451. And case 3 is 1.53. Nine. Now, in case 1, we were uh, focusing on the these two digits. That means, uh, after approximating value, we must have two digits after decimal. And um, in, the, in the next case, uh, we were having, uh, for example, we were having a one digit that we want to keep after decimal. Okay. And in the um, 
third case we were having three digits that we want to keep it depends on us how how many number of digits we want to keep in this case this digit is equal to 5 so it will refer to increasing this digit by adding 1 so it becomes 3.23 okay in this case this digit is less than 5 so it will become as it is 4.7 we want we will not add anything in it okay and in case 3 this digit is is greater than 5 okay it means we will add plus 1 in it so the digit become 1.535 so these are the three cases of uh, approximating values that you have to check whenever you want to approximate any terminating or non terminating decimals having a lot of uh, having a um, multiple number of digits after this thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel math.com